Welcome back lottery fans. It's nearly St. Patrick's Day, so today we're going to do a special All States Rundown for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we're going to do both a Pick 3 and a Pick 4 Rundown. And the numbers that we do in this rundown can be used, as I said, for All States. Uh, and I would recommend using this for uh, both St. Patrick's Day, which is on the 17th. And for this year, because the 17th is a Sunday, I recommend using it on the Saturday as well, the 16th of March. Simply to get a bit more coverage, because I know some states have either one or no pick three lotteries uh, and pick four lotteries on a Sunday. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this. Uh, and we can, uh, uh, we're can we going to use both our, our standard pick three and pick four rundown worksheets. As always, you can download these from lotterypredictor.com. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and get that. Uh, so this is going to be for all states, and it's going to be St. Patrick's Day. Now in terms of the numbers that we're going to use uh, for our rundowns, we're not going to use any past draws this, drawings this time, uh, so uh, don't worry about having to research any past drawings. I've actually gone ahead and picked out some very special numbers for St. Patrick's Day that are related to St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so for the pick three, I, we're actually going to use, we have to do it, we have to use 317 because St. Patrick's Day always falls on the 17th of March. So March is the third uh, month of the year and 17 is the date, so 317. And we're going to go ahead and use that number to fill in both our base grid and we're going to use the uh, the flip numbers to use in our tra fill in our translated grid. Uh, and then I'll show you what the pick four uh, rundown numbers are when we get to the pick four stuff. So we're just going to use a standard rundown for this. We're going to uh, fill in our base number, uh, this this 317 in the diagonal across here, the 317 down here. Uh, so we'll put a 3 there, a 1 there, and a 7 there. And then we're just going to use the standard process of using our reverse counting up method, reverse clockwise counting up method to fill in these blank spots here. So we're going to start here in the bottom right hand corner of 7 and count upwards from there. So we'll go 8. 9, 0, 1, 2, 3. So there we go. Now that we've got the base grid filled out, we can go ahead and we can fill in our translated grid using our flip numbers. Uh, so our flip numbers are down here at the bottom of our chart. We're going to go ahead and take each number, look up the flip number, and fill it in in the translated grid here. So we'll start with a 3. The flip number of a 3 is a 6, so we'll put a 6 in this one here. 0, 0 is a 3 in our chart, so we'll put a 3 there. And 9, and 9 is a 2, so put that in there. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of these numbers. 1 is a 4, 1 is a 4, 8 is a 1, uh, 2 is a 5, 3 is a 6, and 7 is a 0. Now, in terms of the pattern that we're going to use, uh, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, mix it up just a little bit here. Uh, normally, for all you that follow along with my videos, you know I like to play the... Uh, the diagonals and the straight down, but for St. Patrick's Day, we're going to do the diagonals and the straight across here, uh, so we get some lucky doubles in here as well, a little bit of extra luck, uh, which I should point out, uh, this date 317 actually has two lucky numbers in here as well, the 3 and the 7 are lucky numbers, uh, so we're getting a little bit of extra there. So we're going to play the top left to bottom right, top right to bottom left, and then the straight across in the middle horizontal there. So that will give us on our base grid. It gives us the 317, which is uh, our base, our, our starting number. So we definitely want to play that because that's 317. It'll give us a 912, and it gives us a 118. And then in the translated grid, we're going to go ahead and play the same pattern: top left to bottom right, top right to bottom left, and the center horizontal there. And that will give us a 640, a 245, and a 441. There we go. So that's our pick three uh, rundown for St. Patrick's Day. As I said, this will work in all states, and not just states as well, uh, other, other countries as well. For those of you that played along with the Pi, uh, the Pi all states rundown a couple of days ago, you'll know that Ontario hit with those numbers as well. So it's not just limited to US states, it will work with any other country or any other province that has... Uh, a pick three rundown. So there we go. Let's go ahead and move on to the uh, the pick four rundown. It's using our pick four rundown sheet here, uh, and this is once again this is going to be a rundown that we can use in all states. And uh, our date is three seventeen, 
And in terms of the number, we're going to use the one number. Uh, and the number I picked for St. Patrick's Day, all states, is going to be 1903. Uh, for those of you that don't know what one night, what the significance for 1903 is uh, with St. Patrick's Day, by all means leave a leave a comment below. But I'm actually going to tell you anyway. That is actually the year in which Ireland made St. Patrick's Day a public holiday. Uh, so it wasn't actually a public holiday until 1903. So we're definitely going to have to use 1903. So we've got two dates in there. We've got 317 for the pick three, which is St. Patrick's Day, and 1903, which is the date in which. Uh, St. Patrick's Day became a public holiday in Ireland. So we're going to go ahead and fill out our base grid with that number, putting it in our standard pattern, uh, top left to bottom right. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, count up in a clockwise, uh, anti-clockwise direction rather, uh, from our bottom right. So we're going to go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, two, three, four, and five. There you go. Then we're going to go use the flip numbers again as well. And we're going to fill in our translator grid, taking each of these base numbers, looking it up on the flip chart, and filling it in the corresponding spot on the translator grid. So one is a four, eight is a one, seven is a zero, six is a nine, and I'm going to go ahead and keep filling these out as I go along here. Uh, by now I definitely memorized it, and if you've been doing rundowns for a while, you probably have these numbers memorized as well. If not, just keep practicing your rundowns and it will come very quickly for you. So we're going, now we've got the base grid filled out, we've got the translated grid filled out, and we can go ahead and play our patterns. And that, Much like the, uh, the pick three rundown that we did, we're going to play our diagonals again. Uh, and I'm going to break from tradition rather than do the verticals. We're going to do the horizontals. So we get a couple of doubles in there as well this time. Uh, so we've got the one, top left to bottom right, top right to bottom left, and then the two center horizontals because we've got two doubles in there. So in our base grid, that gives us a 1903, which is the number we definitely want to play because it's this number here. And then we get a six four five one and a nine nine four five and a zero five zero four. And then same again on our translated grid, same pattern, top left to bottom right, top right to bottom left, and the two center horizontals there. And that will give us a four two three six. And a nine seven eight four, a two two seven eight, and a three eight three seven. And there we go. Pick four rundown. These numbers can be used in all states and provinces and countries, as I said. Uh, definitely play these on both St. Patrick's Day, which is the 17th, and for this year, 2019, because St. Patrick's Day is a Sunday, play it on the Saturday as well. That way you get maximum coverage. Uh, for those of you that don't have pick three and pick four lottery drawings on Sundays. That way you get to participate as well. There we go. Uh, if you like this video, if you like these kind of videos where I'm doing all state uh, rundowns for specific dates, uh, please definitely leave me a comment below and let me know if there's a specific date coming up that you want me to do an all state rundown for. Uh, I know a lot of you like the Pi Day rundown that we recently did. Uh, also, the run the all states at the beginning of the month is hitting very well, so definitely go and check out that video as well. The the March all state numbers. Uh, we've had a lot of states hitting those numbers all month so far. But yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know what what special day you want me to do a rundown for. Definitely thumbs up to the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next time. Good luck. Bye.